Hello everyone, Simon here. We're back playing Wolfenstein The New Order, our Nazi punching simulator or Nazi stabbing simulator. So before we get much further, I've been saying, I keep saying how good I think this game is. And I've been thinking about like what I mean. This game is educated, is my opinion, or my observation. Wait, what? Why am I here? What? It didn't save the other stuff? Uh, it didn't save the other stuff. Alright, we're going to have to do this again. Doesn't really matter. So, this game is educated. What I mean by that is, um, everything they do in this game, you can tell that they've done the research, right? So the architecture, for example. The architecture, you can tell they've done their research. They've read architecture books, and they know architecture theory because of the designs they put into the game, as you can tell that. And then, when you look at the, the history, for example, look at the story, you can tell that they have people who have studied this particular point in history, the World War II, kind of from the 40s, from the 30s to the 60s, that history, and, and they, they kind of twist things around and they play on, play on the, uh, the fictional parts of it and they kind of turn things around on you in ways that demonstrate that they understand the history quite thoroughly and they understand you know, the background of the story and then there's stuff like psychology and because every time you talk to one of these characters you can tell that they they act like real people they have kind of hang-ups like real people and they behave like real people and so they probably have someone there who understands psychology and understand people and whenever they talk about and then, then like the the planes and the, and, the, and the vehicles, and the cars, and the guns, all this kind of technology stuff. Again, the robots, the robots look like real robots. And they look like plausible robots. And so they have engineers probably working on the game as well, or people who understand engineering. And then you, you uh, and the philosophy, again, is, is solid. And uh, what was the other thing I was thinking about? Oh, and when, it, when they talk about war, the, the game talks about war the way veterans talk about war. I don't know if you notice, but when you, when you when people talk about war, the way veterans talk about war and the way chicken hawks talk about war, they talk about war very differently, right? People who've never been to war, but they, they glorify war, those people, they talk about war in a way that's very childish and naive. But when veterans talk about war, they talk about war from the perspective of somebody who's actually been in war, who've actually been shot at and have shot at other people. And that kind of experience is, is a very different thing. And so all this, all this stuff comes through in the game so that you can really tell that the people who are, have, who are working on this game they, they know what they're doing and they know what they're talking about. I'm trying to shoot these down so that there's more cover in the coming battle. And uh, that's what I want to say. And and that's why I think this game is so great, because the people who make this game, who have, make, who have made this game, they are educated. Like, in, in every aspect of the game that they're doing, they are educated in it and they know what they're talking about. And it is quite remarkable just how intelligent the game is. Alright. That worked rather well. I can't, okay, apparently it did not weaken the head. Okay, good, done. Uh, we are out of ammo for this thing though. Oh, the last little bit recharges, okay, so the, the bottom bit... So if I just shoot this, shoot that, so now it's out of power. 
But if you look down at the bottom bottom right there, the, the last two shots recharge. That's interesting. The rest of it doesn't recharge until you find the uh, find the charging station. And you know, I, I really appreciate research. I appreciate research, I appreciate intelligence and knowledge. And uh, the, this game knows what it's talking about in a way that uh, other games don't always know what they're talking about. Not to... Should I trash on games? <laughs> I've I've been playing Final Fantasy 13 and Final Fantasy 8. I'm, I'm trying to. I was I was thinking maybe I'll record some of the Final Fantasy games. Nope, not 13 and not 8. Those two are disasters. They are trash tier games. They are so bad. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe you disagree. Uh, 13, I don't know why anyone would disagree, but 8, you might disagree. If you are a certain type of person and you played the game at a certain point in your life, maybe you might disagree with my opinion on it. But I think in hindsight, you should agree that it's trashed here. Anyway, so like they like they're just so they don't seem to understand anything. Like the the stories in those games don't seem to understand anything about the world. Doesn't understand anything about people or science or anything. Like they just kind of. Stuff just happens for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> and the Germans, I mean obviously they have German voice actors. Oops, wrong button. Oh Q. Q switches weapons, alright, now I know. I've never pressed Q in my in the entire game. Amazing. I mean, the voice acting is great, it's like everything is just really high quality in this game, it's amazing. Uh, wrong one, I keep actually doing that. Uh, this way, and this way. So we need to... We need to find the ring again. Do we need to talk to people again? I guess we might. Uh, wait, no, not C. Uh, map. Collectibles. Okay, we've collected everything already. Uh, the auto save is a little strange. I'm not entirely sure when the game saves. Oh, that's for a lousy welder. Next time you go get it, Fergus. When the game saves and when it doesn't save. Anyway, it's not a big deal. The ring is in the toilet, believe it or not. And, uh, hmm. the people... Anyway, let's just keep playing. I'm just thinking about how good this game is. Is he? Is he alright? I guess the answer is no. No, he's not alright. Like, look at him! Look at him! Look at his, like, his posture! His body language! I mean, he's 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 like he's uncomfortable, right? He's he's kind of dwelling on on all the people who have died, probably. And like you can like see in their body language, like what if this guy just zoned out? Maybe that's that a cigarette or is that something else? Anyway, he's zoned out. Oh, 
that's so good. This game is so good. It's so intelligent. Problem. If we're going to steal a Nazi U-boat, I need set to repair that thing on the table. Help him with his work, will you? Oh, Isha Koach, Shimshan, Isha Koach. That's all I need. Well, actually, would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She will need the frequency of the transponder to track the thing. Like I'm a goddamn errand boy. Yes, you are a goddamned errand boy because this guy is actually making things that will kill Nazis. So we are gonna help him make things that kill Nazis because our goal is to kill Nazis. And if we need to run errands to kill Nazis, we're gonna run errands to kill Nazis. Right. Look at the people, it's amazing. Every single one. That guy. And gunned it. <laughs> William. Do you have a moment? What now? I'm going to was nur los mit dieser Leute. for years to bring it up to working order. This is the first phase of the plan to gain access to sets underwater safe keep. Use the tunnel glider to find a way into the weapons depot in the burning catacombs. Anya has agreed to track your position over the transponder and provide tactical support. Good luck there, Blaskovich. These are deep waters. William, can you hear me? You have to make your way all the way through the sewer tunnels and into the Berlin catacombs. I'll try to guide you through. Okay, we have a ship, uh, a, a boat, a, a submarine, a, a thing. Does it dive? Is it a submarine? We have a we have a thing with a boat, a vehicle, and we're going to go through the underwater catacombs. Through underwater ca Wait a minute, can I open this? Is that the implication? We can open metal boxes. We can open metal boxes. Huh. How interesting. Alright, now we're all right, we're in catacombs. We do have a gun. Let me uh, silence the gun. And we have a boat. So we are under Berlin. There are catacombs under Berlin. The weapons munitions for the Nazi regime is down here and we're going to find it. It's a submarine. Mouse to steer. We can roll around. We can we can roll around. Why would that be useful? All right, we can. I. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Uh, there. 
All right here. E to exit. I don't know if the E to exit button should be right there in the middle. It's kind of distracting. Cool. This is so cool, guys. <laughs> anyway, we're in the sewers. There's no guns. There's no guns. All right. You might have to exit the tunnel glider to neutralize obstacles in your way. Don't lose track of the tunnel glider. It's your only source of oxygen. I was a kid. The red tide was rising. Went in the water on account of disobeying father. Felt like my skin was on fire. The red tide? You went swimming in the red tide? My skin tide. was on fire. Why would you go swimming in the red tide? Are you insane? You are right underneath the Eisenwald prison now. Caroline told me a few inmates tried to escape through the sewer system with some valuables a few years ago. They didn't make it very far. Okay, does that mean I should... Like, try to do this? Apparently the answer is no. All right, we can't Some go. areas might be too narrow for the tunnel glider. You may have to swim. Some prisoners try to. So, do you think the loot is at the bottom? This game is so interesting. I thought I saw something. I thought... Hmm. I thought I saw something. They didn't make it very far, maybe it was just a graphical thing. I... Alright, let's assume there's nothing there. That's not a place we can go. Do I go through there? Is that what I'm doing? I know. Doesn't seem like it. Nope. Hold on. Okay, that way. Thanks, game. <laughs> Giant yellow icon. Thanks, game. <laughs> Alright, I see. I have to go to the other side. Oh wait, the prisoners are here. That's one of them. Oh, that's a statue, my bad. The statue points to the exit. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Thirteen years old. From the pond by the stables. Came out covered in leeches. Came up covered in leeches. Crazy. Filthy leeches. William, I have something I want to tell you. I've been reading this diary my grandmother gave me. It's my cousin Ramona's diary. She used to work with us at the asylum. She's dead now, but... She had many secrets inside of her, and there was no one she could trust to keep them, so she wrote them all down. I will radio the diary entries to your audio lock. If you find the time, you can listen. Okay. Wait a minute. What is that? We couldn't get there. I'd... I'm just worried I'm missing... Loot. It's in Polish, but I'll translate. Ramona writes, May 11th, 1940. I've only been back home for three days, and now the Nazis have arrived in town. They killed Jakub Brozek. He was shot in the head. His horse was blocking the road. He taught me how to French kiss. I'm going to do something about this situation. Hmm. 
All right. Not sure if shooting the guy in the head really helps to clear the horse from the road. Shouldn't you just shoot the horse in the head? Actually, no. If you shoot the horse in the head, the horse will just fall down onto the road. I'm not sure how shooting someone in the head really solved anything. Unless they are Nazis. In which case, shooting them in the head solves the problem of them being Nazis. I think I can get out. Yeah. Then go on the surface. Alright, what's up here? So there's like a, a thing over there, a tunnel over there, but then there's a... Or is that like blocked? No, it's not blocked. But then there's a thing on the surface here. Can I get up this stuff? It doesn't seem like it, does it? But I mean... I feel like we should be able to just climb this, right? It seems reasonable, but uh, we can't. 